How's it going guys? This is Lucian Sword and we are about to take a first look at the newest legend in Brawlhalla. I can already tell you that the new legend is Scythe and Sword and a lot of people are either going to like that or hate that but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and just jump in here. This is a recording of the Brawlhalla live stream from Twitch where they revealed the new, le new legend just hours ago. This is my live reaction. I've seen what he looks like, but I've only seen one or two of his moves. There he is! Gyro. Or is it Giro? I'm breathing, I'm listening, I'm smelling. I'm licking. Wait. How? Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. It gets better. How? Ooh, so with his lock-in animation, he like breaks a scythe and actually looks like he's almost gonna hold two different things like in one something different in each I'm hand trying, trying just wait, just I wonder wait. if he's gonna use the sword and the scythe at the same time or something oh, no, Ooh, I like his speed All right, so yeah. oh, okay so it's a scythe on a chain he can he okay <laughs> it's sickle and chain that's actually really cool I was thinking that they were gonna make the uh, sickle and chain its own weapon but they basically just gave this guy the sickle and chain they made his scythe a chain scythe Oh my gosh, that is so cool. And he looks so cool. Yeah. Oh, that was sick. The side sig is so beautiful. I love him. They should have saved the epic skin and gave it to Gyro. I can't wait to see the sword sigs though, to be honest. Whoa, was that the, the neutral sig? Or the down sig? That was really cool. I really like it. Ooh, wait. Alright, right, let's fast forward a little bit here, guys. Whoa. His sword sigs look amazing. He actually has two swords when he does the sigs. One in each hand. What? Just let him hit with that. I just want to see what it looks like, please. Okay, so the animations and the sounds and everything are not final, of course. Um, but that is awesome. So it looks like the side sig is pretty straight up, kind of like a Nash side sig, except it grabs and dices him up a little bit. The, uh, the down sig scythe looks like uh, what the community color gyro just did, I think. And then the neutral sig, it kind of throws them up, so I'm guessing, and dices them up in the sky. Very long range, fast uh, speed legend. I could see the uh, strings being... Oh, what? Let's rewind that a second. Let's watch that again. Oh, that was sick. It actually looked like almost another guy came out, like an evil spirit or something. Let me watch this again. All right, here it is. All right, no, did I rewind too far? <laughs> Hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you guys might be. Yeah, see, there's like another uh, spirit, or he comes up there, he controls the spirit, he throws him up, and then the spirit actually hits him down or whatever. Hits him down, back into him, and then he karate kicks. How many, wait, what? So he basically can split himself into multiple people. Whoa, that is so cool. I'm really liking this guy. What do you guys think? Oh, look at the different colors. All right, so there's the black. Again, again. Wow. I like him. I just think there's already a lot of Scythe Legends, and I'm not, like, a huge fan of Scythe, but at least he has a sword. That's pretty cool. His sword looks kind of plain, but again, not everything is final. But this is your first look at Gyro, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. I think he's uh, pretty cool looking. I really like his design. 
I don't know if he really fits into Valhalla lore or anything like that, and I really don't understand why they're doing one-stock games. But uh, I like that they gave him the Sickle and Chain, I like that they gave him Sword, and I like that his attacks, he does like two-handed, He like he uses two swords or he uses the chain in one hand and throws the scythe in the other one, I like that. Um, but I don't know, man. His sigs seem pretty good, but also kind of generic, especially like the side sig, that one there, just kind of... But then again, I mean, it's hard to be creative with the sigs and, and make it uh, balanced, so... Um, I think he's good. I think he's really good. I think he's going to be a very popular character, similar to Nyx, because he looks cool. And I bet you his skins are also going to look cool. So usually when they come out with a new legend, they also come out with two or three skins uh, for that legend the same day that the legend releases. So I'm going to guess he has really, really, really cool looking skins as well. Um, I don't think they give a release date on this guy yet, so not really sure on that. But um, usually when they show a new legend, it's within the month is when he comes out, usually. I mean, sometimes it's within a week. Uh, but... My guess is it'll probably be two, three weeks before we actually see him in the game, but I could be wrong. Hopefully sooner, but it looks like he's not fully finished. Um, it, it, it looked like the SIG animations look pretty good already, but the sound effects are not there. And um, it just needs a little more polish. So that sword side SIG was interesting. I, I'm going to say the pink one just used the down SIG right there a couple times. That, that, that side sig, he sends out a shadow form, which is actually really OP because it... Uh, never mind, it's not OP. It leaves you wide open um, if you do that, but it also kind of uh, protects you from being attacked in, at the same time, depending where they're at. But wow, very, very nice. Also, the, the scythe side sig, if you notice, he actually jumps off the ground a little bit as he's throwing it. So that could be useful for throwing your opponent, like... Uh, catching him off guard by jumping over a mine or uh, like Zul, his trap attack. If he if he puts a trap out, you could just jump over and do a side sig to his face. You know, things like that are actually really fun to do. Let's see if they show anything else on him here. I think they should play a few more games, so really not much else to see on this. Um, just want to give you guys a first look. We can watch him for a little bit longer and see if they do anything cool, but this is basically it. This is Gyro, so what do you guys think? Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, I think he will probably not be my main. I'm not going to assume that I want to main him because he's Scythe and I don't really like Scythe. But uh, I have hopes that he's going to be fun because those SIGs look really fun. But at the end of the day, the light attacks are still all the same. So um, the SIGs only really give the character so much uh, div you know, unique to it I guess uh, and then the stats so I actually want to go look at the stats again real quick so these aren't final but it looks like he has five strength uh, seven decks three defense and seven speed so he's mainly a speed character uh, low defense high high movement speed and high um, recovery speed and mid mid strength so yeah, actually, I might like him. I actually, I like fast characters, so I may like him. We'll see. But yeah, that's it, guys. Um, let me know what you think of this character in the uh, comments below. I look forward to making a video on him when he comes out. I'll definitely be doing that, doing some games with him, and uh, see if he changes at all from this footage. Uh, probably won't change very much. This looks pretty final already. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think he really fits into Brawlhalla? I mean, he is cool, but does he fit into Brawlhalla? I don't know. Maybe. All right, guys. Well, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe for more Brawlhalla content. Be sure to check out Brawlhalla's official uh, YouTube, or I'm sorry, Twitch. Um, they do live streaming twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, one o'clock usually. And uh, they gave out community colors. They show new legends like this. So be sure to check them out. They have a YouTube channel as well, but I think they're mainly focused on the Twitch. And, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Oh, I think he just said uh, he's coming out one week from tomorrow. So only a week.
and he will be in the game. So definitely he's almost done. So today is the uh, 10th. He is going to come out on the 18th. April 18th, Gyro. You heard it from the dev stream. If, of course, that was what he was answering, I don't know. Can't wait to see what skins they do. It would be cool if he had if they actually made a sickle and chain legend that had like, you know, two sickles, one in each hand or something, but whatever. Alright guys, this is Lucian Sword. I will see you in the next episode. Take it easy guys.